So one of the things that has come up with this transition to having iPads in the classroom is, well, what about a document camera? Um, can, I, can I plug in my document camera? How do I use it? And while you can still use your document camera with your Windows 10 computer, you might find that utilizing your iPad as a document camera might be pretty beneficial. And I'm gonna show you what that would look like today. So I'm gonna actually launch the camera app. So up here, I'm gonna launch the camera app. And as you can see, I've actually found, uh, this was a pretty interesting article, uh, the new view of AV in classrooms. And I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take a picture of this. So I'm just gonna use the camera, just take a picture. No different than using it on your phone. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the picture here now that I've taken the image. This is actually what I'm gonna use as my document camera. And think about this in the classroom setting. Now I'm totally mobile because now I, I can airplay this up to my, my Apple TV and I have the picture on my iPad. To take this one step further, I'm going to do a single click on the picture, which brings up some of my options up here. I'm going to click edit, which gives me my photo editing buttons here. And now these three dots right here, these allow an option called markup. Markup is one of the powerful tools here because what I have is now I can use my Logitech crayon and that picture I took, perhaps I want to circle for students. I'm gonna grab the pen and you can see if I click on it, I can adjust how thin or thick the lines are. And I can pick a color here, I'm gonna do red. Maybe I wanna point out like, what are some new ways teachers are using technology? Well, here's, um, here's one here. Here's teacher using this here. Um, you know, you can see her laptop is over here. So I'm actually marking up the picture. Uh, perhaps I want to grab a highlighter um, and do some quick highlighting. So you can see that while this may not be a traditional document camera that we're used to, you have all the abilities to mark up on whatever it is you take a picture of. Um, I can either cancel this so I can either cancel it so I have the picture ready to go for the next class with no markup on it or I can just hit done and I can actually save it with the markups if I would like it that way. So hopefully that helps uh, kind of walk you through a little bit what it looks like using your iPad as a document camera.